everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Out of the Can Haunt Review for 2014, heading to the North Shore for Rise, Haunted House, and Zombie Paintball, though we will not be commenting on Zombie Paintball this time around. Right. We've done it twice. Yeah. That was enough. Yeah, and it was one of the reviews that was lost last year, unfortunately. Yeah. We did the zombie paintball thing, and we'd done it the year prior, and we just didn't feel compelled to do it again. If you're going for the first time, definitely do yeah. it. If you're going with someone new, definitely do it. it, it it's a novelty attraction. Yeah, pretty much. Is what I think. It, it's a novelty attraction. Once you've done it once, you've done it. And really, there's, I mean, yeah, they even if they do mix it up, it's still fundamentally the same thing. Yeah, we so. might try it again. A year Later, or two. But we'll it, see. We'll see. But anyways, the haunted house. That's the important yes. part of this review. I, I, I hope. Otherwise, this haunted house review might be a little misguided. Um, False advertising. Yeah. Um, a little bit north of Hammond, about an hour and a half drive from our native New Orleans. Uh, Rise has been around for quite a few years now. Yeah. And I went back and I watched the preview video we did because mm -hmm. that's the only one that's you know on the interweb. <laughs> Thank you, SD card. Yeah. I'm still bitter about that. But um, and I, I came across as someone who didn't like Rise. Mm -hmm. I realized I was maybe a, my tone was harsher than my intent. Mm -hmm. I like Rise. I think it's a good haunt. It just doesn't strike me as an amazing one. Yeah, I mean they put a lot of work into it. You can tell uh, they put a ton of work into their details. Yeah, there's, there's like I said, the detail work is amazing. Nearly mm -hmm. every room immaculately detailed. I mean you can find things in that haunt. You can just walk around and find everything. Mm -hmm. Anything and everything in pretty much every room. There's only a couple of rooms yeah. that were sparse. Right. Made absolutely zero sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, 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 that's one of the two things they do exceptionally well. Detail and layout. Yes. Layout is really good in this haunt. Yeah, if, if this whole haunt thing doesn't work, guys, seriously, video game level design. <laughs> the career is calling you. Yeah. Because they do a lot of what's known in the haunt community as prop-based layout. Mm -hmm. And that's when you have an open room, and rather than building walls to guide people around, you lay operation tables, you lay dining Book tables, shelves. bookshelves, yeah. you lay stuff to force them to take a, a more winding path. And it's really cool in their haunt because you feel like you have agency, like you have a choice, but really you're being shuffled along the same three-foot path in right. any haunt. Yeah, and I found it interesting that in the um, rules at the beginning, they tell you don't go behind doors. You might not. No, you know, don't, like what don't you open find. closed doors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was there was one room where the door was open and I could see in it, and I wanted to go in it, but it wasn't the way I was supposed to go. Yeah. But that if they the made it an option where you could open doors and take a different path and get in a different experience than everybody else, because you're a rule breaker. Yeah. <laughs> That would be pretty Well, cool. on the flip side of the coin, shut your actor doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the flip side of it. Yeah, um, that is the truth. I mean, that. but the, I think the problem is they do such a great job with that, mm -hmm. but they don't build in a lot of very compelling scares and a lot of... Right, and a lot of it's the, the acting. A lot, some of the acting is, is decent, but not great yeah it's better this year i will say this rise is better this year than it has been the past two yeah it's better and than we've ever seen it, yes certain. yes um some of that is that a lot of the child actors either aren't there or have grown into teens who are more capable of scaring yeah the, adults. <laughs> one of our complaints uh, last year was the overuse of child actors mm -hmm. there were a lot in there right. like half the crew it felt like were child actors and kids can be creepy kids might have a place in a haunt but it can't be every role either. Right. I mean, we, we have our arguments and debates about child children and haunt. Yeah. As actors and if you use them properly, they can be fucking creepy. Mm -hmm. But I don't see them in scare roles. Yeah, and there was that I one mean, kid in the graveyard who was... Busting ass. Uh, he was doing Sorry. four things. <laughs> okay, this one kid was doing four things right as he went to the graveyard. He was doing, hey, let me out, I'm locked in. Then he has two drop panels. Mm -hmm. And then he's gotta go around to the other side of that and hit you a third time, and hit you a fourth time. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but, but the, the use of kids went down. But still, it felt like every scare was one of two things. Yes. It was either a drop panel slash someone coming through a sidewall, mm -hmm. Or someone in the room jumping up and banging on things or getting in your face and growling. Mm -hmm. It was those two categories were every scare pretty much. Right. There were no really imaginative 
unique things. Yeah, and I mean, this haunt has felt like it's on the verge of something great for yeah. a while, and they're so much closer this year. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're inching forward. They need something that is uniquely them. Yeah, that isn't zombie paintball. That something is. other than zombie paintball that isn't that is uniquely them. Because here's the thing, I've I've been through the haunt every year for three years mm -hmm. now. I can't tell you one thing from it that is truly special and unique to Rise. No. I mean, they have that double drop panel part, which is cool, but then again, that's yeah. just a variation of the other scare they've been doing the whole time. Yeah. So, they've got that, and that's okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But there's... Something you don't see anywhere else. But they have nothing that is truly, like, exceptional, like, wow... That yeah. is amazing, and that is so rise. And the other thing with the the double drop panel is that it's it's not given a lot of attention. It yeah. doesn't stand out. Yeah. You know, they don't make you say, "Oh, this is a room where something awesome is going to happen." No. Yeah, because it's one of the few rooms that's not decorated right. in any meaningful way. It's just two black walls. Yeah. And it's that it felt out of place because of that. Every you go through all these meticulously decorated rooms, you're in a darkened hallway. All of a sudden, that does feel a bit out of place. And the actor dialogue for most of it is is limited to rah, rah, grr, or you know variation yeah. of the theme. Now that being said, a couple of the actors had great timing. Yeah, great timing, and the few actors who did speak really played it up, and they stood out because so many were doing yeah. the. Rah. There was one like a bride in the yeah. cemetery. She, she was awesome. She played crazy as well as the people at Evil Visions. I yeah. mean, she was doing that style of role, and it, but it made sense there, and it fit there, and it worked there because it wasn't the twelfth room where we'd seen that. Right, exactly. And she was providing a pretty good distraction. Yeah, she was for a good scare. Um, unfortunately, the scare didn't work quite as well in that room, yeah. but she was, she was... It was not her fault. <laughs> yeah. She was really interesting to watch, and I wanted to stay there and see what else she would do if I stayed. <laughs> yeah, they did more of the distract and startle style scaring this yes. year, where they have someone or something pull your attention and something else come from another angle. Right. They did more of that this year, and that's good. That's one of my favorite yes. methods. That is very good, and that is because I will startle in a haunt. Yeah. And this is the first time in years that an actor has been so captivating that I was looking right at them that I didn't see the guy from over here. That's different between you and me. I got captivated by a bush in Lafitte. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's the bush doing here? <laughs> I was looking at the makeup and she was doing creepy stuff and then this guy came over here and I'm like, because I'm about to hit you. Because that's an actual reaction from me is if I have to stop myself from hitting you, that's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, you've got something going. So, and that's the thing. Rise does have something going. Mm -hmm. It's just it. We were talking about on the, on the drive back. Cause we had a long drive back. Yeah. Um, about how a, there's so much stuff there that we've seen at other haunts for years, and frankly, right. in most cases, done better at other haunts. Yeah. For years, they need to find their own voice because everything in there is either something we recognize. Mm -hmm. Or it's a haunt trope. Now the haunt tropes right. have their places. Believe me. Yes. I'm all for the mad <laughs> scientist lab. I'm all for the spooky library. I'm all for those things. Those are cool. Yeah. But you know, you still have to add at some point something that is distinctly you, something yours that is original to you. And I don't get that feeling that Rise has that yet. Not yet. No. Maybe they haven't found their voice. Yeah. Now. Now, one of the things I will say that was also standout was their human props. Mm -hmm. The guy laying on the table, yeah. a prop. Mm -hmm. At least I think it was a prop, and that's why I'm mentioning it, because I'm not 100% sure that wasn't a person. Yeah. Very, um, very still person. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, yeah, they, they have some really cool handmade props, and it goes mm -hmm. back to that they do the design and detail exceptionally mm -hmm. well. Yeah. It's just... It's like a painter being very skilled at photorealism, right. but not particularly creative and having their own voice when they apply it. Yeah, that is very good, actually. That's, That's how I feel about Rise. It's, yeah. it's like so much talent here. Let's just let it shine. Go yeah. do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, What's the craziest thing you can think of and do it? Yeah, exactly. Just Show run it with me. it. Wow me. Um, real fast, what do you think about the changes to front of house this year? 
I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a little confusing because you buy your tickets. Yeah. Me and our group and everyone else <laughs> tried to go in the VIP entrance. Yeah, because that was the normal entrance last time. It was just the... There was just one entrance, you went in there, and then they split you up once inside. Yeah. Now it's not that way. Now it's not that way. Now you've got a cattle gate system, which is, it's nice, yeah. but it's on the side yeah. where the zombie paintball stuff is also. Yeah, and the other problem with moving it to the side is that the side is not decorated like the house. No, it's, it's a metal like... building. So when you go in, you know you're going into a metal building yeah. and not something that's designed like a house. Yeah, there's no facade, basically, yeah. on that side, and that is a little disappointing. I understand the reason they had to do it. Yeah. They didn't have a very long um, outside cattle gate system on the front. Right. Which is, you know, there's your, your choices there are do you tear out the front and build up a new cattle gate system, or do you move it to the side? That's a tough choice. I don't know what I would have done in that yeah. situation personally, but it, it, as someone visiting the haunt, it was a little, like you said, a little disappointing just to be waiting in line outside of a metal building for yeah. 30 There's or 40 minutes. Nothing going on. And there was no actors out there, nothing going on. Now, I did like the little photo booth set up they have. In fact, yeah. we're, you're seeing it, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, um, behind us, and we're pretending like we're doing the review in it. Right. And because that was the idea, you could come, you could sit in, have the little Rise logo up there, and you could hang out and um, get your photo. It was a nice little distraction. Yeah. But it still would have been nice to have an actor or two working in front of house, something to interact.